Hi, this is Vashi Nedomansky of Vashi Visuals. I'm a feature film editor, and uh, I wanted to share today a really cool technique that I've used for almost 10 years that I haven't seen anyone else use. Um, I've edited 11 feature films, and I've been using this for quite a while. I also train ace editors. I've trained four Oscar-winning editors in using special techniques and improving their workflow and using Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is something that I show to all of them and they always freak out. They're like, wait, what, what did you do? How did you do that? Because half the job of the editor is to be organized to be able to navigate the timeline and navigate your sequence. Um, this is my timeline from Sharknado 2. I was the editor of that film back in 2014, I believe. In most feature film timelines, you'll have a lot of video tracks and a lot of audio tracks. And it's sometimes hard to be able to go and see what you want to see at that moment. If I want to see the video tracks, to make tracks bigger, I usually have to go on the left side here and grab stuff. And it makes one video track taller, and then I grab another one. It's really quite difficult. And this is on a you know 27-inch monitor. If I'm on a laptop, it's going to be really, really difficult. Same thing with the audio. If I want to isolate something and really see what's going on, I have to try and grab the edges here and pull it down and... And it, it gets really tough. So I came up with three keyboard shortcuts and assigned them on my keyboard to be able to do this. If I hit one keyboard shortcut, all the video tracks get bigger all at the same time, all to the same size. So they stretch out. The second keyboard shortcut makes all the audio tracks get bigger one step at a time, but all of them in unison. The third keyboard shortcut resets everything back to the smallest size that you started with and you're back to neutral. Um, when I'm editing and I want to see more of the timeline, I'll hit tilde on the Premiere Pro keyboard shortcut to give me full screen. And I'll show you that one more time. The first keyboard shortcut increases the track of all the video tracks, all the same size, all the same way, and they're all equal. The second keyboard shortcut increases all the audio tracks, so they all get bigger equally. The third keyboard shortcut brings everything back to neutral at the smallest size, and then I can bounce back out and see that. I find this really helpful to be able to navigate the entire sequence and be able to quickly isolate just what I want. If I want to do audio work, I can jump in there. I can see everything, bounce out. If I want to do video work, I do the other one. And it's just like that. Now, every platform is different. Inside Premiere Pro, if you go to keyboard shortcuts, I'll show you what it is. The first keyboard shortcut I do is increase... Oh, spelling is horrible. Increase video track height. Increase video track height, I set to one. And I set my keyboard shortcuts to one, two, three. The second keyboard shortcut is increase audio track height. I set that to two. And the third one is minimize all tracks. This will take everything in the sequence and make it all small, all to the smallest size. And I set that to three. So I have one, two, three. It's very easy to get to. It's very easy to navigate with it, and I can quickly and evenly and equally increase the track heights of everything I need, and then always with number three, minimize all tracks, bounce back to a even, very calm, and easy to manage and navigate and digest sequence. So that's my top secret tip for today. I'm Vashi Nedomansky of Vashi Visuals, and I will be doing a lot more little tutorials, a lot more Hollywood editing tips that the professionals use that we've all developed and we all share them and not too many people know of them. And this is one of the first ones. So enjoy and hope to see you soon.